Woo. Good morning. Good morning, my YouTubers. We got a project to do today. We have a huge ride out coming up on the 23rd out in San Diego. It's going to be fire. It always is every year. And I got to get these brakes fixed because I got to have everything right, man. Everything got to be right. So <clears throat> finally taking off the stock brakes, the stock Tetros, and installing some MT200s, Shimano's. Yes, sir. I put Shimano's on everything, guys. The e-bikes, uh, the Fast Ripper. I only have two disc brake bikes. So Shimano's MT200s. They're cheap and they work great. So we're gonna slap these on real quick. Real simple. So let's get into it. First things first, I already loosened this up. Take off your Troy Lee grip, right? Then loosen this up. This is your brake lever. Pull that off. And you're halfway done. Sit your bike to the side. Now there's gonna be some zip ties on your monster, guys. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. These ones you can cut off. Just got these brakes in yesterday. <clears throat> Gotta throw them on quick. Now these right here, these are like push on, push on clamps. Like little U, little U clamps if you can see. Okay, you just snap those off. Don't cut those. If you don't have these, just use some zip ties and you'll be good. So now that you got your brake line off, Grab your Allen wrench. I know a lot of guys know how to do this already, but this is basically for the guy who does not know how to do it. And if you want to save yourself 20 to 30 bucks by doing it yourself and not having the bike shop do it follow my video now guys I was thinking a couple weeks ago what if I put some 203 millimeter disc brakes on here I'm thinking about it if it works I don't even know if it's gonna work 203 millimeters because I think these are 160 Maybe 180. No, these are probably 160. Could you imagine having a big rotor? Has anyone done it? Put 203s, 180s. Has anyone gone with a bigger disc brake? Let me know. So boom. Guys, this is your stock hydro. Okay. Took me two minutes to take that off. Here's the new one. Now, you wanna keep this in until you install your brakes because if you hit your brake down here, if you hit your brakes and this is out, this little spacer, then your brake pads are gonna get squished together and you're gonna be pissed. So make sure you keep that in right before you install your brake. So Pull that sucker out. Put it over your disc, like so. 
she looks good. Now don't tighten these up all the way. I'm gonna show you why in a second. Tighten them up a little bit. Now you wanna take your line. This is super long. No, oh, it's not that long. Oh, it's not, it's not that long. Slide, <clears throat> slide your brake lever back on. Slide your Troy Lee back on. Make sure your, the words are lined up good. Make it look right. Tighten her up. You want the name facing forward. Tighten that up. Find your other screw. Now you wanna tighten your grips up before you tighten up your lever. So yeah, if you guys wanna to go to this ride out, it's going to be huge. It is in San Diego. And if you go on Instagram and look up Fever One, he's throwing it, he throws it every year. Always a banger. It's the end of the summer banger. That's what it's called. A lot of SC riders will be there as usual. Wait, what am I doing here? It's the wrong size. A lot of SC riders will be there. If you guys want to get some autographs. I like to have my lever right there. Okay, now what you want to do is you could put this back on, these two. They just snap right on. Like so. Okay. Now for your brakes. Adjustment time. So, what you want to do is get them close. Screw those down. Now, what you want to do is hold your brake like this and then tighten down here. That will adjust your brakes. Now, sometimes these brakes need to be bled, which I don't have the tools, but usually out of the box, they're fine. You just have to adjust this little screw show you guys now there's a little little tiny allen screw right there okay if you can see it this is this is how you get your brakes right okay this is how you get them right you know what i'll be right back i have a tool for this all right, guys, this is the tool that I use. I'm not even sure what size it is, but this thing for disc brakes, whoo, especially if <clears throat> you're at a ride out or something and all you have is these regular Allen wrenches, it's really difficult to uh, adjust this. So this thing is nice and long, stick it in there. Now, when you turn it clockwise, your lever is gonna go out. That's what you want. Okay. Now, when you adjust your brake, especially if you're doing wheelies, when you adjust your brake, 
You do not want this lever to hit your fring your finger, okay? Big no-no. So we need, we need to go out more. Man, it is still super hot out here, guys. Like 100 degrees. I really don't like riding regular bikes in this kind of weather. It's freaking hot as hell out here. So if you haven't seen any videos of uh, me on the regular bikes in a minute, that's why. I'm not trying to get a, a damn heat stroke. All right, guys. So this is how I like my brakes, okay? Nowhere near that middle finger. Boom, 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 okay? Nowhere near it. <clears throat> Your adjustment in the back. Remember, don't tighten these bolts all the way down, <clears throat> all the way down, unless you're grabbing the brake. So, let's see. Give it a little loosen, just a little loosen. Okay, keep that there. Grab your brake, hold it. This lines up your pads. Okay, now tighten all the way down. Now this goes for e-bikes, disc brake, any disc brake bike. You can do this, okay? They're all the same. Tighten it down. This lines up your brakes real nice. Make sure you use your blue Loctite. You don't want this coming loose at a ride. And that's it, done. Piece of cake. All we gotta do is uh, zip tie the, the line up and we're good to go. And that my friend is how you install some disc brakes. Well, the disc brake line, disc brake lever. That's how you do it. Pretty damn simple. <clears throat> so that project is done. I was having some issues with the Fast Ripper cassette and <clears throat> the cassette actually was hitting the spokes. So I took it to the shop and they did like a little spacer and we had to do a little bit of shaving, but everything works now. <clears throat> the reason why it was touching the spokes is because when they're twisted, they're a little bit wider. So it was barely like nicking it, like nicking the back of the cassette. But Minifee Bikes, baby, they got it all worked out and good to go. Fast Ripper is good to go on the 23rd. Big Ripper, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be riding this on the 23rd. Um, actually all, these two, this one, and maybe the Flovel, they're all gonna be ridden at the ride out on the 23rd. Got some family coming, so it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be their first ride out, and we're gonna get it in. Projects, guys, projects. I'm still working on the RSF 650. This, this, these RSF 650s guys, I'm not gonna lie, they're super expensive. No matter what you do, super expensive. But I'm still working on it. These are like my summer projects. Just summer projects. I got the throttles. I got the brakes. I got the Saran tail. I got the handlebar brackets, shocks, and then I got my parts list. But man, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. So hopefully it starts cooling down around here, and 
we can get back on these bikes because it is super super blazing <clears throat> um the scooter another project that i'm slowly working on i got outnumbered guys on the color of the, of the scooter if it was me i would have blacked it all out i would have blacked the whole scooter out but there's two girls here that said let's paint it pink and blue or whatever satin beach gloss I don't even know how they came up with these colors, but it is what it is, you know? It's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look dope. I think I like it. Spray a little bit right there. Working on this right here right now. But projects, I dip into anything and everything. Also, before you paint plastic, just to let you guys know, Plastic adhesion promoter. You gotta use this or your paint's gonna fall off. But anyway, guys, I dip into everything, okay? So, it is what it is. E-bikes, two wheels, two wheels, it don't matter. It's what I like, so. <clears throat> I'll see you guys on the 23rd. If you show up, it's gonna be huge. Huge right out, huge. So be there or be square. Might even have the blocks flyer out there. We'll see. We will see. All right, y'all, later.